Bismillah, Aslam Lekum. In today's video, I'll be making another argument for the truth of Islam from the prophecies of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, basically the spread of obesity and fatness. Now, let's read the hadith first. This is from Sahih Bukhari 3650. Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, The best of my followers uh, basically describe the three generations, right? Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam added, there will come after you uh, people who bear witness without being asked to do so and will be treacherous and untrustworthy and they will vow and never fulfill their vows and fatness, obesity will appear among them. Now, here are the obesity st uh, statistics, right? Firstly, it's talking about my people. Uh, it's basically talking about Muslims. Although, even if it applies to Kufar, right, the prophecy is fulfilled either way, but it's about Muslims. Seems like this. Now, here's the obesity stats of countries with minimum of 1 million people in them, right? First one is America, as expected. <laughs> but look at all the rest. So many Muslim countries, Middle Eastern countries are here. Jordan, uh, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Libya, Turkey, Egypt, Lebanon, UAE. I think it's Iraq or Iran uh, and Bahrain. Now, so this prophecy is clearly been fulfilled. Now, why is this such a huge proof for the truth of Islam? Most people throughout history have not, not been obese. Right? This is a simple fact. It was Obesity was never a trend until recent time. The main reason was that people had to do a lot of physical work. That has always been the case throughout human history. Right? There were rare exception of one or two people being fat, obesely fat. But this has always been the exception, not the rule. So prophesizing that obesity will spread, it will become a trend, is quite counterintuitive. Now think about how hard the physical life was in Arabia, right? How much time, how, was, how hard the life in desert is, how difficult it is at times to look for food even. I don't think anyone could have conceived of a time in those circumstances that a time will come where so many people will become so massively obese, right? So it's not based on the circumstances. It's not uh, uh, it's not based on the circumstances, and it can't be self-fulfilling because there is nothing in Islam that encourages this. Yet, this has clearly been fulfilled, and it would have been difficult, very difficult to imagine that something like this would happen at that time, because. I mean, for people who have been wealthy, right, it's easier to imagine people will become fat and rich at that time. But people who have been poor throughout history, right, it's very unlikely for them to imagine that a time will come when everyone <laughs> will become obese or such a massive amount of people will become obese. Yet, obesity is now a worldwide phenomena. No one will deny this, right? This is just something that is self-evident and it's prevalent in Muslim countries, as we can see. So, I think for those reasons, this is an absolutely massive proof for the truth of Islam. And I don't think there's any way around that. Inshallah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'll keep making more videos on proofs for the truth of Islam. Till next time, Assalamu alaikum.